Good evening, Team Our Victory. Brittany McMillan here coming to you guys tonight, Monday, uh, November 14th. We've got, after today, we've only got two more Mondays left of this month. So we're, we've got about three-ish, two and a half weeks left of November. Not even really. Yeah, about two and a half weeks left of November. Um, and it gets crazy because the holidays, like this is our last full week before Thanksgiving hits us. And then after Thanksgiving, we start getting into like the holiday stuff with Christmas rush and New Year's and everything. And so it just gets kind of bananas. So I do appreciate you guys hopping on tonight. I appreciate taking time out of your busy schedules to be here with us. Um, and so I'm going to honor that and I'm just going to get into it. And I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. So I'm going to share screen. Let me get into the shared screen here. Uh, doo -doo. Share screen. Okay, get us onto this PowerPoint. All right, guys. All right, dive in right in. I am just going and rolling. So tonight is all about getting your clients killer results. Now, last week, we started our four vital processes um, series for November because Beachbody just released four new vital processes that we should be going through every time we're working with people. Um, last week was all about getting our clients started. This week we're diving into getting them killer results and then we're gonna round out the month with two more webinars to conclude those four, um, transitioning people into coaches and developing and mentoring those coaches once you do transition them. So tonight is all about getting your clients killer results, okay? Um, I put this quote here. Hey guys, glad you're on. I just started. Okay. Um, I put this quote here. Don't expect to see a change if you don't make one. And I didn't necessarily mean it for us, even though it is very relevant for us, but this is the core of our challengers. This is the core of, you know, what they're going through. The reality is they can't expect to see a change if they're not making one. And so how do we get them killer results? Well, they've got to make some changes in their lives. And so it is our job as Beachbody coaches to be able to do that. Okay. Um, before I dive into the content though, I'm going to start with some team announcements. Okay. So just check it out guys. A couple things on our radar for the week. So free planks and thanks group is starting next Monday through Friday. Um, please feel free to invite people. Remember you should have something for everyone. So if somebody says, you know, listen, I don't have money for that right now. Or, you know, I just, I think that's a little too much for me to, to dive into at this point. If they're not interested in what we have to offer in our challenge groups, guys, right now, before you create a free group, you are more than welcome to plug them into our free group over at Planks and Thanks. So there's a free gratitude journal that they can download, um, and we're only doing it for five days next week, just a little bit of health and happiness around the holidays. Um, so please, if you guys have people to invite, feel free, add them into the group. Special shout outs to Kaylee, Kayla, and Becca for crushing it uh, at the end of 2016 with me. We started a five day end of year success challenge this week. And it's just Monday through Friday, but in there we are reflecting on our weeks together or <laughs> reflecting on our weeks. Hold together, Brittany. We're reflecting on our year. Um, we are reflecting on the good of the year because there is good in our years. Uh, we're reflecting on the not so good. And then we're going to dream big together and do all this crazy stuff. So shout outs to those three. Thank you guys so much for joining me there um, and just crushing it with me. Uh, this month or this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gave Frankie a Kong, you guys, so that he wouldn't do anything like drastic. And I, th I think he already ate all the peanut butter out of it. <sighs> like, how is that even possible? One of these days we're going to have a webinar where he behaves himself. Okay. Next on the agenda, first ever team cookie swap is happening, guys. There's a poll. I would love for you to tell us, and I don't care if you are a working coach or I'm inactive right now or I'm stepping away from the bit. Like, I don't care who you are. If you are on our team and you're in our team page, please participate in this because what we're going to do, this is when we had the last event where we carved pumpkins. Unfortunately, we could not have our out of town coaches with us, right? It doesn't make sense to fly to California just to carve a pumpkin. Um, but for this cookie swap, this involves out of towners as well, because what we're doing is once we pick that date, we are going to be, Marilyn is also heading this up with me. Um, and so she is helping me to kind of send out the invites and everything like that. But once the date is set, coaches who are from out of town, we want you to mail mail in your cookie offerings, whatever that may be for you. Mail it in before the date of the party, 
before the date of our, our get together. And then at the get together, anybody who's not there, you will be there in spirit because you will have your offerings there at the table. And then we will package you up a nice package of all the cookies that are there, um, a nice variety pack, and then we will mail it back to you. So this is not a cookie swap only for local coaches. This is for the whole stinking team. So if you have coaches on our team, I don't care if they're active or inactive, working or not, or whatever you want to call them, get them involved. Make sure that if you have anyone in your downline that you are shouting them out and tagging them in this event so that they can feel like they are part of our family. That is so important to me right now. Okay. So that is my heart team cookie swap. Super excited. Uh, coming soon. We're going to be doing a team, our victory coach sneak peek live. I'm thinking, um, cause in my head, you know, like people have Thanksgiving and they're super busy on Thanksgiving, but like Friday's black Friday and Saturday, most people are off of work. Um, for the weekend, of course. And so Friday and either that Friday, Black Friday or Saturday, I want to do a, a coach sneak peek live event on Facebook, mainly because most people are home those days. I'm thinking either Friday or Saturday that week. Um, so I'm still deciding, but we're going to be doing that. So if you have people who are interested in what the coaching opportunity is, it's very similar to a live, like what is coaching call, but rather than doing a, a hosted webinar like this, I'm going to just do a sneak peek live um, broadcast on Facebook and we'll advertise for that. And then we can tag people in it once we get on live and all that good stuff so that they make sure that they're watching. Um, but that is coming soon. So please just start thinking of that, thinking of people who maybe you would be interested in having that conversation with, or you know that they're interested in learning more information. Okay. Following that in December, we're going to have a coach apprenticeship. So all of our new coaches, that's my heart right now is that once we get those coaches added in, we need a place for them besides the boot camp. So also, um, any new coaches that have been added this month or any coaches that just want, um, a refresher or never really got the co coach apprenticeship the first time around, um, that is coming back in December and it is my goal to offer it every single month from here on out. Um, looking ahead guys, looking ahead, uh, for you, like what challenge groups are you hosting? Are you hosting any challenge groups in December? Plan it out. Make sure you're looking ahead right now because you don't want to get to the beginning of December and say, oh crap, I need to invite to a challenge group. In fact, um, I'm looking at my calendar right now. If you're going to invite to a challenge group that maybe starts on December 4th, uh, beginning of December, you're going to want to start inviting next Monday, a week from today, because that's two weeks out of it, right? So keep that in mind as you are planning out your timeline. You always want to give a two-week buffer between when you first start announcing a group and when you actually begin the group. Um, we will be hosting another core de force only group starting on December 4th. So if you know people who want core to force and want in on it, we will have one more round of that starting on December 4th to round out 2016. And then other than that, I'm not doing a, a formal group other than the, um, I'm going to do a yoga only group. So people will be doing three week yoga retreat, uh, in December as well. So those are two options. So people can sign up for the free beach body on demand account with you and do the free yoga retreat workout. They could buy core to force as they're watching you unfolding your fitness journey with it and do that group for the end of December. Um, or you can run your own challenges, whatever that looks like for you. Um, I'm not going to be doing a mixed program challenge though in the month of December. That's not happening. Um, that's kind of my break month. So we're taking a little break, but I did want to add in um, a core to force because it is so hot right now. So look ahead, plan it out guys. Imagine right now, if you're putting in the work right now, when new year's rolls around, then people are going to want to join your group. But all of a sudden if on January 1st, you're like, Hey, I'm, I'm hosting a challenge group. You're not going to get anybody. I hate to break it to you. Um, you've got to start the work now. Okay. And then just some encouragement for the end of 2016 guys, we have seven weeks left. Um, I know it in my heart and to my core and like in my soul that we're going to crush the heck out of the rest of this year. Um, I just know it. I know it. And so some encouragement for you guys today on the national wake up call. I mean, it's never too late for a fresh start. It's never too late for a fresh start. It's never too late to dream big. It's never too late to have a do over. It's never too late. So get out there, start deciding what you want to do with the rest of this year. Don't wait for January 1st to roll around and just start working for it. All right. Okay. Let's get into the content. So it's all about the results, you guys. It's all about the results. Imagine if somebody buys a stinking program from us, they probably want something to happen, right? They're not just buying it because they want to do a workout and drink shakes and like, that's it. They want change. They want results. And a lot of people before um, Beachbody, they might tell you like, nothing's ever worked for me. I've tried this. I've tried that. I've tried everything and nothing works. 
let this be the one thing that works for them, guys. Let this be the thing that provides them the results. It starts with you. It starts with you. It starts with us. It starts with our challenge groups and that community. So yeah, we sold them. We, um, we got our clients started by selling them the challenge pack, but now is where the work starts. And it's funny, Emily, I was just watching the team 180 webinar over there. Um, she pre-recorded it and I was watching that. And Emily told a story about another network marketer who was confused that Emily hires out for extra work and such, because in her business, the work is done once you sell the product. Cause they're in, um, stop shooting on the wall. Cause they're in a face, uh, face like skincare product selling company. Right. And so once they sell the, the skincare, I mean, it's like their work's done. Like that's it. So, um, but that's the, that's the difference between those network marketing companies and what we do with Beachbody is that the second we sell the product, that's when our work starts. Okay. So remember challenge packs are bought for a reason, guys. They're purchased for a reason. So you got to dig deep. You've got to get to know why. Why did they want this challenge pack so badly? Why did they reach out to you? Or why did they say yes when you reached out to them? But dig deep. Typically, you're going to get a very flat um, answer, a surface answer, because we tend to, we tend to um, not want to get into what we're really feeling, right? It tends to be uh, easier for people to just give you like, Oh, I just want to lose some, some weight. Right. Or I just want to get healthier. But then there tends to be a deeper, deeper rooted reason. Okay. I posted on our team page, the Tony Robbins movie over on Netflix documentary. Check that out. I am not your guru. If you've never watched it before, it's super inspiring, but Tony Robbins is incredible. And he's got lots of great books, um, also for personal development. But one of the women that he spoke to, like one of the first ones that stands up in this documentary and starts speaking, she says, um, he's like, you know, what, what's, what's wrong? What do you want to fix? She's like, well, I just want to be healthier. I, I, he's like, okay. And he digs and he digs and he digs. And actually by the end of their conversation, because of how long he digs, it's not even about wanting to lose weight because she's not healthy and she knows she's not being healthy. It's actually this whole big thing about like her father never loved her. <laughs> like, like. I know like you're like, what? that's crazy. But like there are deeper whys. Most people are not, they're just going to give you a surface answer because that's easy. They don't have time to get into it. They don't, some of them don't even know really why. So the more that we can hold their hand and walk alongside of them and, um, dig deep and show, ah, why do I always do that? Why come back PowerPoint? What is, why am I guys, if you're listening on the phone, and you're not watching this right now. Oh my gosh, are we serious? Why? What did I do? PowerPoint, let me click on this. Guys, do you love me? I hope you love me. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me get back to where I was. This is crazy. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, I gotta stop talking to my hands because then I hit things and then all madness breaks out. Okay. If you were just listening and you were not seeing what was happening, I lost my PowerPoint for a second. Everything's good. Anyway, get back to being the challenger guys. Remember when you started, remember like what you were nervous about or what you were excited about. Remember the day your package first arrived and it was like a little bit like Christmas where it was exciting, but a little nerve wracking because you weren't quite sure. Remember all that? You got to get back to that mindset and you've got to walk alongside of them with that. Okay. Because they want results. So I've got for us five just five general things that we can do to help them get those results that they so crave. P.S. Disclaimer, if they do not get their results after that first month, like Shakeology didn't work for them or their challenge group didn't work for them, there is a money back guarantee, guys. So inserting that and letting people know, like, listen, you hated Shakeology, drink the whole month and then you can get your money back. I tell people that. I let everyone know that. And I've yet to have anyone return their Shakeology at the end of the month. Okay? So um, just keep that in mind, right? So set expectations. you got to lay out ground rules. Now I do this either in a video or maybe in my interactions in like preseason when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with that person, but I lay out ground rules. And in the group, I lay out my expectations in my week zero. My week zero isn't just about prepping ourselves, um, you know, to work out and to drink shakes and to eat right. It's also prepping ourselves to function in this group um, as a community. Okay. So laying out those ground rules, your vibe attracts your tribe. Now that's a big gut check moment because guess what? If you have groups that run silently, maybe it's you. And I, 
Frankie just jumped off the couch, like the, the high part of the couch. Guys, I am so sorry. This is like having an infant child. Come here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. One of these days. All right. So your vibe attracts your tribe, guys. Your this is a big gut check gut check moment for you because and for me too because I've had groups where they were silent. But you know what? When I look back at those groups, I wasn't really present in them either, and I wasn't pouring in good knowledgeable information. I wasn't going through a system that works in terms of the flow of a group, right? And so if you're like Brittany, I don't really even know how to flow my group. Well, that's why you use the group. Um, the group templates that I've plugged into our team page in the files section, copy and paste, right? When you start your own groups up, that is for you to use because there is a system to it. And it's important that you are present in that group, that you are always every morning at 5 a.m. They know your post is coming up, right? Um, inviting them to like your stuff, comment on your stuff. I always tell them the group is not special because of me. It's special because of you. I always let them know that, that it's not me. It's you guys and your interactions. Um, and then what is your system for the, when they're not present? Do you call them on the phone? Do you send them a text message? Are you tagging them in posts when um, they're not showing up? Maybe it's face to face. Guys, one time, um, not too long ago, I text a challenger who I knew wasn't, I knew she hadn't opened her program yet. I knew it. The group had started, everybody was going, and I knew that that stinking DVD set was sitting on, on the wall or on the shelf, right? I knew it. And so I text her, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Good, good. I was like, hey, I'd love to have some coffee with you. And so that's it. Like we decided to have coffee. We went and we sat down for coffee. And I said, so how's everything going? She goes, Brittany, I have to be honest with you. I've been drinking my shakes every day, but I haven't even touched my DVDs. I go, I know. That's why I invited you here today. And she started laughing so hard. She's like, oh my gosh, how'd you know? I'm like, I'm not an idiot. Like I've done, been down that road before. It's not my first time at the rodeo, but you gotta, like, you gotta figure out what to do when they're not present because it's unacceptable to tell you and hear me out on this, my friends. It is unacceptable for somebody to say that they want to be in your group and to not show up. It's unacceptable. And you've got to let them know that not in a mean way, not in like, I didn't do anything mean to her. You know what I ended up doing? I ended up making a plan with her. When can I meet you? And let's do your, your first workout together. So that pressing play the first time isn't so scary. And that's what we did. Two days later, her and I pressed play together for her first workout. Um, and sometimes it just takes a little bit of that. So it's not about being mean or anything like that, but it is about setting the grounds. Today, I text somebody who hasn't been present in the group and you know what? She didn't answer. And guess what? Tomorrow I'm going to send her another message, but I might send a voice message, right? And if she doesn't answer, you know, I'm like, I'm going to keep going because the reality is they came to you for a reason. Remember that they came to you for a reason. And if they're not ready for that, they can't hide. We've got to stop allowing people to hide. I think it's really easy in life, right? Um, this is a life lesson that people just have to learn that I think we're getting away from in our society today because it's very easy to hide behind screens and it's easy to just be in our own bubble. But the reality is we were built for community. We were built to connect and we thrive when we're part of something bigger than just ourselves. And so that being said, if they're hiding, it's like, that's like child stuff. And so it is my duty also to show them that it's okay to have, like, if you're embarrassed about something or you had a bad day or you fell off the wagon or whatever it is for you, I'm not here to judge you. I'm simply here to grab your hand and pull you back up, right? And so they have to understand that you, you're coming from a place of love, not from a place of judgment or harassment or anything like that, okay? But there, you do need a system for when they don't show up because guess what? That will happen. It will happen. It's even happening to me. Oh, speak of the freaking devil. She just texted me back. Ha ha ha. Isn't that funny? Her ears must have been burning. All right. Next, be the challenger you want. Guys, this is back to that gut check moment. Are you present in the group? Right? So not just present. Um, like, okay, so I pre-post. Obviously, my 5 a.m. and my 5 p.m. are pre-posted because I'm not going to like 5 a.m. might come around and maybe I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. that day right? Or 5 p.m. might come around and maybe I'm busy and I totally forgot to post. I don't want to rely on my schedule. So I pre-post everything. Sundays I sit down and I post out for the whole week. That allows me to be successful. So I'm present at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a message for the day. And there's a systematic approach to the way I deliver my messages as we flow through the group, right? Um, totally a different topic for a different day. And 
if you are more interested in that, I think I've actually got some webinars already talking about that topic of how I flow through that. But I'm present at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m., no matter what. But I'm also present after I finish my workout, after I drink my shake, and then, I, and then I also go in and I like and comment on everything. Now, I always make sure, and this is just for me, but if they post something, uh, if they post just their shake, right, usually I just, unless it's like something like, whoa, like mind-blowing shake, like what the heck is that recipe? I don't usually comment. I just like it. Um, but their workouts, I always comment, uh, or I try to always comment. I also am human. Um, and then if they post something additional, right? Like maybe they're going through something. Okay. I try to also, um, or maybe they posted some motivation, whatever. So I'm present, not just 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. I'm also present whenever I do my workout that day, whenever I drink my shake that day. And then I also go through and I make sure that I interact with everything that they've posted throughout the day. Okay. Be proof. So again, I've done challenge groups. I've been there in challenge groups where I didn't actually do a program with them. I just let them do the programs. Or maybe I wasn't drinking my shakes all that regularly and I was making them do it. Guys, you know, like that's, that's just grounds for, for disaster. That's grounds for people to call you on your BS. You have to be proof. You have to be proof that you're pressing play every day because guess what? If you're not pressing play every day, why the heck should they? If it's not, if you're not getting results, what are they? Like I wouldn't trust if, if my coach wasn't pressing play every day and showing me that she is working hard and getting results, I might not think it's actually possible. So it's really important that you are proof that this is possible in any walk of life, right? Because it truly is. And then be real and raw. So you're having a bad day, tell them about it. Now, this is not pity parties. We do not go into groups and throw ourselves pity parties and everybody feel bad for me. No, we go in and we teach lessons. So be real about it. Listen, I had a migraine today, but here's the deal, guys. This is what I know about it. Or, um, you know, I'm when I was battling with depression, I went in and I, I still battle depression, but... Um, when I was like in the heat of it before I sought medical help, um, I had to be honest. I had to find some times in my groups to be like, guys, I really apologize to all of you, uh, for my lack of, um, just my lack of, what do you call this? Like being present in the group, right? Um, I'm just battling some things and they lifted me up when I did that guys. Cause I was being honest, right? Um, the other thing too, like today I asked, somebody asked me how I was doing and, you know, your initial reaction is like, oh, I'm good. And it was a challenger. It was somebody I was checking in on. And she texted me. She's like, oh, da, 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 da. and then at the end of it, she's like, oh, but how are you doing? And um, I could have taken that moment and said, I'm good. Thanks for asking. But actually, in that moment, I wasn't doing well. Um, I had a really emotional early afternoon today. And I found myself in tears um, just because of, and, and you ladies that are on live and a lot of our team are color guard related, but the young performer, um, who passed away this weekend right after BOA, Grand Nats, uh, in the car accident, um, just a whole whirl of things going on, but it hit me really emotionally today. Um, and so that was, I was in the midst of all that. I was in the midst of a real raw and emotional moment when she asked me, she like blindsided me with it. How are you? And I started to type, I'm good. And then I said, you know, if I can be honest with you, I'm actually in the middle of like a kind of emotional tearing moment. And she's also in the pageantry world. So she understood and, and we could have that honest conversation, but you know what, in that moment that we built and forged a deeper bond and a deeper relationship because I, as the coach was honest that, you know, I'm good. My life is good. I'm okay, but I'm having some trouble right now pulling this, you know, I've got my heart is just filled with like this sadness right now. And so we had that conversation and it was good. And so I encourage you to be honest with your challengers, but be honest in a way that um, you're still the, the mentor. You know what I mean? You don't want to be so honest that all of a sudden, like they can't look up to you anymore, right? Because remember, people are looking up to you for the answers. They want those results. And then hold yourself to a high standard, even when no one else shows up. Guys, I wish I could tell you how many webinars I've, I've hosted where no one shows up and I still run it and record it. I can't tell you how many power hour clubs I've done by myself at uh, 5 a.m. and my alarm was set for 4.30 that I just did it anyway. I can't tell you, you know, I can't, tell you how many challenge groups that people just stop talking or communicating, right? And a lot of you um, who are actively in my groups right now might not understand that I went through a period in my coaching business that nobody showed up in my challenge groups. 
but I held myself to a high standard and I never quit. And even when nobody else showed up, even when people quit, even when people canceled their Shakeology, even when people quit the coaching opportunity and left our team, I still showed up. So hold yourself to that same standard. Be the challenger that you want because a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, those people will come back to you. There's people in our groups right now who have already quit on me before and are back and it's okay because it's not about that. It's not like, oh, you quit and you're shunned. No, like I want, I want what is best for you in your life and that is like done deal, end of story, right? So hold yourself to that high standard even when nobody shows up because it's making you more respectable. And then celebrate guys a lot, like a lot, a lot. Uh, weekly, weekly shout outs. Son of a gun. I lost my PowerPoint again. You guys see? Okay, there we go. We're back. Ha -ha. Weekly shout outs. Um, I love to do them in the groups. I'm trying to do a better job of um, trying to get other people to like help with the shout outs too in the group. So this is a little new strategy I'm trying in the Court of Force group if you're part of it um, that I'm excited about what it's doing. And so I'm going to utilize that probably come into January when uh, I start my new round of groups up, but weekly shout outs, like find somebody who's been rocking it, crushing it, and then tell everybody like, Hey, can you tag them in the comments and, and help celebrate them too? Um, using your social media platforms to shout people out who are really doing some big things. It's not, they don't even have to be guys. Listen, when we talk about recognition as one of the vital behaviors, it doesn't have to be like, let me recognize this coach because she earned SC 50 or let me recognize, um, you know, Susie because she lost 75 pounds in a week. Like that doesn't have to be your shout outs uh, in your recognition. Your recognition could be um, Sally just bought a challenge pack and is working out for the first time in her life. Let's give her some love, right? Or stop that scroll. Stop scrolling your newsfeed and show some love to, um, to Becky because she joined uh, our group and she's been present every single day. She's logged to shake every day. Guys, stuff like that, right? It doesn't have to be like a big old to-do. Um, oh, I lost everybody. Did you guys get kicked out? Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to keep going though. Um, notes, voice memos of encouragement, sending people a message, hey, you've been rocking it this week, or sending them a voice message on your phone that they've been rocking it, and ignoring bad behavior. This is a good teacher trick that I know. If we are encouraging the bad behavior, then the good behavior starts to morph into the bad behavior. Instead of that, ignore the bad behavior. And there's, I mean, when I say bad behavior, I'm not talking like people are in the groups, like just being crazy. But what I mean is um, take a chance or take a second to really just acknowledge what you like seeing right? I like that you're posting this. So I'm going to encourage you more. And then the more and more like, Oh, she got commented on cause she posted a workout. I want to get commented on or She got a shout out because she did something every day. So I want to do that. Right. So encourage the good behavior do that old teacher trick. Guys, be a problem solver. So what happens when somebody has an issue? Do you have a plan of attack in place when people have issues? Because there will not be a challenge group where you do not come across somebody that has some sort of um, issue going on. Okay. Uh, in terms of maybe they're struggling, having motivation with their workout. Uh, maybe they aren't enjoying the workout that they picked, or maybe, um, you know, they're too sore or, um, work is getting in the way cause they're really busy. Okay. So whenever somebody has an issue, I always love to say, I totally know what you're feeling. I get it. I've been there before, but this is what's worked for me. This is what I found that has worked for me. And so allowing them to know that you've walked that path. And in general, most of us have, right? That we've gone through similar experiences in our fitness journeys. And that's why as coaches being proof of the product is great because it allows us insight as to that journey, right? Um, it's not something foreign to us. But telling them that you know that feeling but I've been there and this is what I did that worked for me. Okay. And then we've got to anticipate those problems before they become big problems. Okay. Um, so before they become such a big problem that the person just wants to quit or not show up anymore or be done. Right. So lack of motivation is something that could possibly be a problem. Uh, poor eating habits, right? How are you going to maybe help them? Um, sometimes people have trouble with the containers now on beach body on demand. They have the whole, uh, fixate, um, challenge, channel now that you can watch all those shows on. And so anybody who's struggling with those containers, uh, pouring into them with that resource, self-defeating mindsets, guys, if people have mindsets, then you've got to start plugging in positive mindset, positive affirmations, positive, uh, dialogue into the group, right? If somebody has an, I can't attitude, try to start figuring out what they can do. Right. And then lame excuses. People who 
I'm too busy or I'm too this or I'm too that. You know, you go right back to that. I know what you're feeling. I've been there before, but this is what is going to help you. You have to know that you're doing something good for yourself and then just allowing yourself to have that conversation, the open, honest conversations to solve those problems before they become huge. And then guys, we got to just make that process fun. So, um, challenges. I love to end groups with like team challenges, get them all together. Sometimes I'll end it with a solo challenge. I love for them to get to know each other on a more personal level. So I love it when I see the dialogue in the groups like, Oh my gosh, I grew up there. Like I used to live there or, Oh, I love um, that restaurant or, Oh my gosh, you're judging band this weekend. And I I'll be there or whatever. Like it's so cool guys when they start to get to know each other. So allowing them to know a bit about each other and encouraging them to share that. It starts with you. Giveaways. I love doing giveaways for the team challenges um, and our solo challenges. That really helps to get people motivated. And it can be as easy as like just getting um, the sample of of Energize, Beachbody Energize. It comes in a 10-pack sample. I think it's like 13 bucks for coaches. Order that, right? And then now you have 10 giveaways. Say and, and just put it in a card with a little note that says that you're thinking of them and that they really, really rock, right? And then enhance our products. It doesn't just have to be Beachbody products, Shakeology, that's it. Enhance our products by giving recipes from other websites, uh, pouring in resources of like, you know, do a plank challenge today. All of a sudden they have to work on their planks and maybe that's not part of their program. Um, enhancing our products with other fitness and nutritional devices, right? And then Finally, you've got to teach them to love the process, guys. It starts with you. If they fall in love with the process, if they fall in love with the group, right, you got them started, you gave them hope, and now this process is something that they're falling in love with, they're hooked. They're going to be hooked. You're not going to lose that person. They're going to become a lifer for you. So I hope all that helped, guys. I know it seemed like everybody kind of... um, fell off here. So maybe my internet connection was kind of crummy. I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully this recording um, is going to be okay and you guys can catch the tail end of it. Those of you that were on live and got booted off. Um, but thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for being here tonight and training with me. Um, it's an exciting month, guys, and we're only about halfway through, okay? So let's push hard. This week is a big week, a big week for goal setting and dreaming big and just getting to work. So I love you all. If you have any questions about this or you just want to know, Brittany, how can I run a challenge group better? I want this. I want to do this. Um, you just connect with me, and we will figure that out together. All right, guys, have a great night.